Hello everyone and welcome to Dead Cells Boss Rush. Do you remember Boss Rush? Going through enhanced versions of each boss in Dead Cells, trying to beat them with a random assortment of gear that you put together in between transition rooms in order to get the ultimate prize, pieces for this statue, as well as mutations and other stuff. Today we're going to beat Boss Rush with all three colors. That's Brutality, Tactics, and Survival. And I think what you're going to see today is going to be pretty entertaining. This one's for you all. Absolute victory right here. Literally unlosable. I'm a tick concierge. We got fire that does nothing in the first fight. Shovel. Swift sword. I guess you could go full throw if you want to. Infantry shrapnel. Electric whip. That used to be red. It's not anymore. Sinu Slicer, Wave of Denial. All some pretty interesting stuff. Shovel beats Mama Tick really easily. You know what else beats Mama Tick? Let him cook. I actually think I screwed up. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this holy water does nothing in this fight. Knife dance? Double damage? <laughs> Okay, I want to believe it. Chat, this build's not going to go the way I thought was going to go. I didn't realize the holy water was a requirement. And like nothing works. You could support, I suppose. Point blank is 32%. That's not that bad. Maybe do this instead. Um, there was a shrapnel axe. But I decided to not go Shrapnel because we should hopefully get a free clear with the Electric Whip. At least on this boss. Music's pretty loud, really. We'll say, we'll check again once we get into the actual boss fight. I think at some point we turned up global audio and not game audio. Rip Flawless. Streaming's hard, by the way. Like, I can't make a note anywhere that I turned up global audio. I looked at Dead Cells audio, and Dead Cells audio hasn't changed in like three years. Notice how Mama Takes not on fire, by the way. Holy Water's actually not doing anything to it. I'm surprised she's not changing sides. I didn't get the parry. Was it because I was too close? All right. Oil sword that heals you. Fire grenade. Probably better than holy water against concierge because it's two of them. Both of them. You know what? Maybe holy water is the answer for concierge. And I'm not taking the sword, even though you would think that that's the smart thing to do because it's melee. You could maybe swerve into something. Electric whip does AOE damage. Parry too early. I dodge rolled into the sickles coming down. You would think I'm in like a giant damage vortex and all I have to do is press the parry button and it works. I, I feel like there shouldn't be a early and late scenario if you're in the blender. I am currently in the blender. Rip. Uh, you can't get a legendary unless you flawless both bosses by the way. Dang, I shouldn't have parried. I almost fat fingered that parry. I'm like not in gamer stance. 
I think that's my other issue. Not only did we have the wrong music, and according to chat, the music was too loud, too. I was also, like, not in the right stance to play. Leg Hugger. Probably better than this, unless we get the Giant. In which case, both are bad. Oh, whoops. Not Brutality being the first win of the day. That never happens. All I need is like a legit weapon. Uh, this is not terrible. Comb? This is bait. The Scarecrow can't be stunned. I don't think it's Comb. Hayabusa's could be okay. I could also Acrobati pack a Fire Blast? For what benefit? And like keep Electric Whip? Burning oil damage? Was it doing legitimate damage? Why is V trying to find more excuses to play not brutality? I just want another cleaver. All right, we're cooking this build. I know it looks super sus. Don't worry about that. Everything will line up eventually. Okay, so I need Acrobatic Pack. I need support. I perhaps don't need Point Blank. We're cooking this build, chat. I know I said I cooked before. I was lying at that point. Now I'm telling the truth. This is the time I have cooked. Except the Leg Hugger. That's the only part that's a little raw. I lied. Bible thump. Um, sometimes it's for your own good. about to say rip flawless Ooh, that scared me no they're detonating because they're on the fiery ground <laughs> come on all right, part of me wants to switch to the meat skewer really badly, but obviously don't do that. Just stick to your guns. That worked. That worked perhaps a little too well. My, uh, I feel like my leg hugger didn't really eat very well during that. This is a tactics build if I've ever seen one. It's usually infantry bow. I think I have like a 100% win rate with uh, infantry bow. Yeah, you cannot parry these, by the way. You can roll through them, which I didn't know. I've... Oh, lag? I was ducking. I know it didn't look like it. I'm also not hacking. He like cancel his attack. He's not in the cleaver? Yo, my boy eight? Dang. Shouldn't have tried it that way. Whoa. Yo, get over there. Why is my leg hugger just AFK? Oh, wow. I guess those have to be short hops. What I expected was like I could jump and then the next one will be high. So I'll just like duck underneath it. I mean, now I may as well keep the leg hugger, right? Uh, 
Unless it's De uh, Dracula. If it's Dracula phase three, we have to ditch it. PB, Hand of the King, Alucard Sword. Do I dare swap? That's the real question. Like, you could easily just keep exactly what you have. I mean, we could swap, still keep the dot, and have like legitimate mutations. I'm gonna do this despite not being a super fan of the torch. That means we no longer need the fire blast. I'm not gonna main hand fire blast because that requires pressing that button, which I don't wanna do. I'm not gonna swap to that. I think we do still want the bleeding source. The phaser's not terrible. We could just have open wounds. Chat, this build's cooked. <laughs> And like, that could be a good thing and that could be a bad thing. It depends on the context. You say, you know what? This whole run is cooked. That probably means the run's dead. But sometimes when you say the run's cooked, that means it's actually sick. Full swerve, open wounds, scheme. And I feel like I have to bring in disengage. It's like these fights are just too dangerous. Who's still a doubter? Who's a nay? Who's about to pay up? I'll say let my boy in. I shouldn't have summoned. I should have waited because I think he takes a second to get over here. Yeah, look at that. He's not even in the fight. Another one. Is he really not coming in at all? Ooh. Scared me a little bit. Okay. Another one. play make him think I'm staying up there but I'm really not you know what that's what we need to see it's gotta be the skin the skin set up right here instant win because it's red and we're playing brutality it had to be a win scripted no I actually did try all of those other runs it's just it was a little unlucky now I know I did swap to like ice crossbow to test out something but we had to test it, or else no one would have known that you can't freeze Dracula, at least, not Dracula, death. You cannot freeze death, at least in boss rush. We didn't know that. I have to build out the five things I wish I knew, despite the game losing its, uh, development. All right, survival it is. We got Mama Tick, Concierge again. We have not seen Conjunctivius at all today. Uh, Flint, Shovel. All of this stuff is actually decent. Shield, Knife Dance is pretty cool. Flamethrower is also really cool. It's really hard to get fire while playing survival without having holy water. Shovel is pretty nice, but we had to get rid of the vamp. The true blood. Maybe go knife dance. Knife dance should be okay against concierge. Okay. Get back in gamer stance. I can already see myself slacking. Or the lack thereof, I want to slack. That way I can perform. Soldier. Blind Faith. Is that worth trying to use? Alright. Let's try this out. I know we got plenty of yays in the chat right now. This one's for you. 
I would say it's for the nays, but then people would think that I intentionally throw these games, and I, I promise I don't. It just sometimes is unlucky. <laughs> it's a bad matchup. We lost that champ select. Ooh. Wait, is this free? Is she facing the other way? No, she's not. I got real concerned. Whoa, free? She refuses to go on the right side. Mama Tick certified lefty today. We lost the cancels. I wonder if you could go with uh, Heart of Ice. Because she is getting stunned. Ooh. Bible versus double conjunctivious. That sounds legit. Oh, I have a stun the victim freaking shovel. I should have read it. I didn't even know that. To be honest, the Frost Blast ain't half bad either against these two. But I think I'd rather parry and have them stuck for a little while. Though they won't get stuck for very long because my shovel has stun on hit. Maybe that is a case to use the Bible. Imagine having to think about what you're doing. For all I know, I could just be playing the game, think he's off. We could just be talking about your favorite moments from DBZ. Or talking about, I don't know, the, the traitors on CBS. Assuming that's what station that's on, I just completely made that up. Terrible placement. It's too difficult to do the parries. They needed one parry! Just one! I couldn't get it. Wait, this is actually kinda sick, but I do no damage. It's the only issue. to hold on to this for a little while if we get lucky on bosses. Alright. I can count on probably one hand how many times I've had stun on hit shovel. Like, that's just not a thing, I feel. It's always like stun on hit toothpick. Stun on hit Oven Axe. Stun on hit Tombstone. All stuff that's like completely worthless. Dracula cannot be stunned. Neither can Timekeeper. <laughs> Alright, fair. They already nerfed the build. A new shovel. Tick Scythe. With Armadillo Pack. I think we're kind of grasping right now, but if it works, it will be amazing. Kitty cat. And then maybe keep the knife dance. This might be good for Scarecrow. It's not good for Dracula. Because really the whole idea is that I want to keep you at bay. I'm going to be over here. 
doing this and then like roll backwards and do it again, then Scarecrow will probably pop out. And then if we get servants, Wolf Trap will be good. Let me see if I can roll this around a little bit. If it gets bleeding causes poisoning, we keep it. Ooh! Poison. Poison. <laughs> Feral cat colony? What is that? Oh my god, I've never seen a cat do that before. I'm not gonna say anything, that's the owner's issue. We need, um, Kill Rhythm for sure, and Armadillo Pack, those are both mandatory here. And I guess I'll keep Disengage, just because it is Scarecrow. Yeah, I feel like there's something about colorless star knife dances. Where I could re-roll it probably five times and it'll keep the star the whole time. I'm not gonna say it's a hundred percent, but it's gotta be like 80% that the star stays. Oh lag? I thought for sure I could armadillo pack those. No, it doesn't work. Those two. Did they nerf Armadillo Pack in this fight? Oh my god, I just killed myself. I'm pretty sure the cat has done more damage than I have. He's getting pushed. Ooh. Okay. The two health pots. Ooh, do you all see the blood on the pillar back there? Wait, the M for mature? Um, that goes... That could be interesting, but... These two are going to be better. At least for this fight. Wait, I'm going backwards. Why does this door open? On what planet would you want to go backward? I don't know if it's nerfed, but I always thought... And never could block those big balls. Same, apparently. I think they nerfed it. Or rather, buff the balls. I think they did. Purple shield could. I, I think so, but it didn't work just now. Alright, relax. Sick parry. Those work. Not worth. Oh yeah, because the cat does bleeding, the cat's gonna keep the poison up. That's like a hidden mechanic. See how it's still bleeding and still poison, despite knife dance being long done? Wow, I landed right on that. It's like no sense trying to do parry here. Like even if I try to roll through for the parry, like the timing's too tight. So my cat actually destroyed the mushrooms. Like do I not have kill rhythm? Seemed awfully difficult to pull that off. All right, him <clears throat> one health pot, forty percent HP. Who would we want to see here? Hand of the King, obviously. 
Um, I might be okay with Queen. That's a real might. Like, that's a big asterisk on that. It's Queen. Neither of those. Queen can be petrified. She can catch these. My worry is, I don't know if I can, like, keep up Tick Scythe gameplay. She just moves around way too much. I want to say we tried Baseball Bat, and it didn't work. Can just buy it and set it aside. In case, like, a uh, Boyak shows up. This might be okay, because it gives you iframes. I don't think she cares about Wolf Trap. But I don't really want to lose my synergy between the Knife Dance and the Kitty Cat. Stun Grenade. She could be stunned, right? We have to ditch the Kitty Cat, though. That's the only problem. Because I'm pretty sure the Knife Dance goes farther than this. <laughs> v, you're testing again. I know, I know. It's... It's been a long time since I've taken a stun item into the queen fight. Very, very long time. Heart of Ice for sure. I don't think we need to double dip with Instincto. What I think I want to do here is disengage. Extendo. And if I end up getting chunked, I can heal up to 100% of my life back. And that, that should be the hit. Assuming she can be stunned. If she cannot be stunned, this is probably GG. Okay. We're in there for a little while. Sick parry. That's mine. That's mine. I wonder if I should have had like... Oh my god. That sucks. I have to use this. I wanted to save it for like a bigger chunk. <laughs> and it falls on her head. Please, just reality. Crap, I'm too far! You can't roll that? Oh, she changed her gameplay up. Oh, wow. I thought that was a spot. Sick. Predicted. Predicted and outsmarted. Oh, boy. The baseball bat does it again. <laughs> and imagine, we almost went in there with Alucard Sword. I bet the doubters were begging for me to go in with Alucard Sword just then. Yo, we got the emo haircut. I won't even say emo, this is more like a Kek Zoomer haircut. Alright. Death, Mama Tick, still no Conjunctivious, Killing Deck. Spartan Sandals, Balmont's Whip, Baseball Bat, Door. The only issue with going Killing Deck here is we would be stuck with the decoy. But, like, we should technically get a free win on Mama Tick. So maybe the decoy is not that bad. Oh, we're gonna pop off. It might not look like it. But if this ain't a pop-off, I don't know what is. I want the fight. I want the smoke. 
Nice decoy, by the way. Close one. Still left-handed Mama Tick. I wonder if they nerfed right-handed Mama Tick. It like doesn't show up. I'll gladly do corner tech if it's gonna be left-handers only. I can't do jack squat with my left hand. Yo, I know you all saw that decoy. Don't even talk to me about decoy until you play it like I did just now. Boomerang. Better than barrel launcher because we don't get wall bounces. Technically, you could just play barrel launcher. Wait, is that the answer? Was I doing this wrong the whole time? V literally just play the barrel launcher instead. You don't even need the bounce. No. Where's the boomerang? My acrobatic pack's activating. You can see it go on cooldown. You can hear a little ting. You hear that? The barrel is eating the boomerang. If I take the boomerang off, and put it in the backpack. We lose it. We actually lose it. Who do we report this to? The development stopped. It <laughs> oh, no. No. I could change out of Acrobatty Pack. Does not cost money. Um, Support... No mercy. Getting a no hit would be really nice. I wonder if his sickles drop parting gift bombs. Alright. I know I said I want the no hit. I gotta see this. I have no idea what it does or not. My expectation is they don't count as monsters because they aren't listed in the monster log. But maybe that doesn't matter if it's just something that can die. Why? Why was I not critting off the wall? There it is. No, man. I should have parried that. So the barrel can't destroy his sights. The scythe automatically reflects it. And furthermore, there was like an issue on bouncing off the wall where I wasn't getting the crits when death was like right next to it. Next to the wall, that is. Very, very unfortunate. Uh, whatever. Just backpack it, I guess. All right, I mean, hey, five things I wish I knew. We always find new stuff after all these years, even today. 
Dracula Timekeeper. Where's all the giants at? Quadruple damage! We're gonna instantly die if I take this. There's no way. He's thinking about it though. If there's diverse deck down here. I don't want to roll too many things. Eleven herbs and spices. God, this is not smart. This is not smart. Like, this is actually a throw. Because it's Timekeeper. Timekeeper does a multi-hit. It's okay if you get hit one time. But it's the multi-hit that's going to kill you. Cocoon? Cocoon could help me for Dracula. It doesn't really work against Timekeeper. For the, uh... The multi-shot. Okay. The only time you would consider using this is right now. Is V trolling? I promise you I am not trolling. <laughs> Even just a little bit? Alright, maybe a little bit. Alright, we need... Poison Cloud. 10% damage while you're near it. I guess that's fine. Oh, the parting gift bombs did not work against death. I'm pretty sure. Alright, disengage me. Triage. I think you support. I, I think we want to kill it in just one flamethrower, and that's it. Ooh, Pyro! 20? I would say this Dracula's for you, but I'm like te petrified right now. Okay, so that's the... See that? Why... Why does it not work 100% of the time? <laughs> it doesn't wait 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 it blocked that set but it didn't block the set before it what's going on i'm not trolling this was legitimately the hit was tornado Something happened to my tornado. And by my tornado, I mean this is probably <laughs> never getting played again. So we're at 15%. Disengage says, right above me, if your health falls below 15%, you get a force field. So I assume I do not have to heal myself for disengage to activate. And then I can activate it later. Let's save Tornado. It's like Tornado has a uh, internal cooldown or something. Wow. She actually beats me and she phase changed to get all of her health back. Did I not have bubble? <laughs> I can't stop complaining. It's not my fault. <laughs> no. What's happening to me? It's like I have all these ideas in my head on how they should work. Uh, who am I fighting? 
Hand of the King. This is good. I think we can do this flawlessly. This would also help the flawless. Just wave of denial is so nice because I could knock back all the bombs. We could maybe see Thunder Shield. All right. Ooh. The doubters are in the edge of their seat right now. I could have re-rolled a lot there. I guess, like, me just going straight in wasn't it. I could have taken Instincto and maybe Cowtrops or something. There's a couple moves that could bait us, though, so we still have to be extra careful. If we just get a super fast phase change. So this is one move that baits. Okay, wanted to do the parry to get some extra damage in. What is that thing doing here? Yeah, yeah, please. I don't want to fight that. Ooh. <laughs> uh, I was not ready to lose that. Not today. Not after working that hard. Look, you can't even see all the icons over my character. There's too many to count. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Not a single bomb was thrown that day. Holy crap. All right. I took a couple of clips, too. I want to dissect what happened to me. All right. So, Tornado. The whole reason I took Tornado was that Tornado destroys Death's projectiles. So, obviously, it failed to destroy that one. Whatever. I get it. <laughs> so, it didn't touch that one. Ugh. It's destroyed, right? And hence, it's destroyed. By the tornado. Like, look at this. That's a frame perfect explosion on tornado. That's the whole point of tornado is destroy the projectiles. So I'm thinking it's safe. But then those completely ignore it. And then he's gonna do another set. Right here. Look at this. He's ready. He's going for the kill. It, tornado stops them. The tornado is only working on every other bomb. Why is that a thing? Yo, we did it though. I mean, we could be complaining about losing. And we're not losing. We're winners. All of us. Including the people who said they were a nay. They're winners too. Um, that was sick. We got three in a row after dying, what, four times earlier? Um, I do genuinely enjoy doing boss rush predictions. Like, I don't know if I could just do boss rush casually, but the idea of all of us coming together and deciding that V is gonna die, I like that. I really do like that.